Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you installing Android 6.0 Marshmallow on Samsung Galaxy S6 in a national variant. So without wasting further time, let's do this. So alright guys, so this guide will work for the any other Samsung flagship device. You can use any other device variant. So this video will dedicate it for the Samsung Galaxy S6 SMG 920i. So you can use any other device first. What you can do is go to the settings about device and check your model number. So this is a model number of SMG 920i, which is an international version of S Samsung Galaxy S6. So after that, what we're gonna do is go and open the Google Chrome and go to the website called the sammobile.com. So under the sammobile.com Welcome. you can see the firmware section then you can see this small search section here you can type your model number so my model number is SMG 920i so as I said the international version of the Galaxy S6 flat so we can also use the SMG 920f which I already which already got an Android Marshmallow update a month late months before so you can also use SMG 920f which is the edge variant you can also use the node variant whatever it might be so this video is for the SMG 920f as I said international version then go ahead and search on this one so as you can see the firmware is only available in India so you can download uh, and uh, install it on any other region so make sure the the model number must match the PDA as you can see the PDA starts with S uh, G 920i so you can download the uh, any other thing so once you click on that link so this might gonna be take to this page and click on the uh, regular download and, uh, uh, and place it on your desktop so underneath you can see another option called download Odin also you can also download this Odin so once you download it place all the two files on your desktop the same time go to this website developer.samsung.com and download the uh, drivers which is uh, required for this installation so once all the files is downloaded successfully and as I said place it on your desktop for convenience so these are the files that I downloaded on and I placed on my desktop so let me go ahead and switch to the large icon view so uh, first what we're gonna do is uh, this is a main firmware file which is SMG 920 which is uh, uh, for S6 so this is the Odin file so first what you can do is go ahead and install the uh, Samsung USB driver on your computer as you can see it says that I already have installed it so anyway what I can do is I'm just going to cancel the installation so if you haven't installed it yet on your uh, computer so first do it because it is a necessary and for this installation process anyway after that go ahead and right click on the Odin and use a WinRAR to extract here so once you click on the extract here you can see the two files and then delete the uh, zip file we no longer need that file also delete the uh, driver file so then after that go ahead and right click on the uh, uh, main file and extract here so this uh, extraction this is a very very big file and it might gonna be take us uh, some time and uh, anyway you can uh, this SMG 920i variant you can use it on any other region so it will work uh, flawlessly and don't use the one variant or another variant like you're flashing the 920i variant on 920f which might gonna be ran into some errors so download the a particular uh, model that is supported by your device so anyway so as you can see the extraction is successfully completed so now we can go ahead and delete the zip file that we no longer need it so now you can see these are the three files uh, the main file ends with .md5 so anyway and uh, switch back into the camera view so and um, this is my galaxy s6 what i'm going to do is uh, turn off your device so make sure the battery must be about about 80 percent uh, because it is important so as you can see the device is shutting down once the device is completely turned off go ahead and uh, hold the power and volume down as well as the home button at the same time now until you see this message called a uh, download mode like warning then leave all the buttons so now you can see the press volume up to enter into the download mode press volume up to continue so then after that go ahead and connect an USB cable uh, to the computer once the USB cable is connected so I'm going to switch back to the uh, computer view so go ahead and uh, all the files were extracted and uh, right click on the Odin and run it as administrator 
so now when you click on run as administrator and this box will gonna be highlighted in blue color so which means that the device and the computer connect or communicating each other properly then click on the AP and look for the uh, file which ends with .r.md5 and click on open so when you click on open your Odin will sometimes seems to be not responding don't worry it will work after uh, give some time to make it properly so then you can see uh, the it says binary side then click on start so now we can see the installation process will begin as well as the you can see the progress bar on both Odin as well as on the uh, mobile phone so anyway so this process will gonna take uh, sometimes up to a uh, five years or something like that so I'll be right back with you once it's done see the installation is almost at the end of the part and now you can see a reset and pass so once you see the green color pass message on your computer so now your device is successfully completed installing so now you can see it says uh, installing update so you can go ahead and remove USB cable Uh, I'm gonna be fast forward this video so I'm gonna be uh, uh, continue all the setup process and once it's done I'll be right back with you guys Alright guys, now you can see the device is successfully completed the booting process. So anyway, I'm going to go and swipe the screen. So then go to the uh, settings and I'm going to quickly show you the version that is running on. So go to the settings and look for the about device. And now we can see the model number as well as then update you can see the software information. So now if you click on the software information, now we can see at the top of that you can see the Android 6.01 Marshmallow. So if you double tap in, you can see the Easter egg. So that's how we can install the Android 6.0 Marshmallow on the Samsung Galaxy S6. So if you haven't received any OTA, so this is the method that you can uh, install manually on your Galaxy variants. So you can try this method on any other variant anyway. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.